Hi everybody, it's Raya Samet, your chess librarian, and today I'm bringing you a much requested video about how to search for peer-reviewed journal articles using the library's resources. So I'm going to start off at the U of M Dearborn webpage to make sure that you know how to get to our resources in the first place. There are two ways that you can get to the library page from the main U of M Dearborn page, and I'm going to show you both of them. They both go to the exact same place. If you hover over the Academics tab in this maize-colored menu bar at the top of the page, you'll see that there's a link to the, li the library right here on the right-hand side. There's also a link to the library in the footer of the page, so if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll also see that there is a link to the library here. They both go to the exact same place, which is this page, which I recommend that you bookmark so that you can come directly here uh, after the first time. And our address, if you would like to just type it in, is library.umd.umich.edu. Once you're here, you're going to see that there are um, a couple of features of this page that will be important in a second. Um, so it says journals here. Uh, it also has this big search box, this big white search box that says search for books, journal articles, and more. And then also there's this find uh, menu here in the maize colored bar that includes um, things like journals. So I wanted to explain that um, going to journals here in find or here in this gray box, uh, just in the sort of main section of the page, is really the the optimal way to go if you know that you're looking for a specific journal title but it is not as easy to find articles that way about a particular topic when you don't know what specific journal you're looking for so the way to do that is generally going to be to use one of our journal databases so you're actually going to want to find databases or to use this big white search box so I'm going to show you today how to use this big white search box, which is actually linked to a service called Summon that searches across all of these different things, books, journal articles, media, all kinds of things. And I'm going to show you how that you can control getting only peer-reviewed journal articles back out of it. So the first thing is to think about your search terms. I've got some other videos where I talk about how to come up with some good search terms. Um, but let's say I'm interested in poverty and access to health care. Actually, I'm going to do health care as one word, I think. So let me do poverty, access, health care. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that in and click the search box. And what's going to happen is I'm now going to get my results. So I want to show you that on the left hand side, we've got all the things that help us to control and refine the search. We call these facets, but you don't have to know that term. You just have to know that these things allow you to control the searches that you're getting back. So I'm going to start by showing you that we have 309,448 results. Um, I don't want all of those things because they're probably not all peer-reviewed journal articles, and that's what I'm looking for. So the first thing up here is to figure out um, how do we refine. So first of all there's two things here that include peer review there's scholarly and peer review and there's just regular peer review so the difference here is not whether they're peer reviewed because both of these will give you peer reviewed sources but whether or not you specifically need scholarly sources so scholarly sources are aimed at an audience of other people in academia experts who are in uh, mostly universities and other sort of uh, scholarly institutions. So the question is, do you just need something peer-reviewed or does it also need to be scholarly? If you only need something peer-reviewed, you can select just peer-review, otherwise you can select scholarly and peer-review. So I'm going to click on this and when I do, I should see that a check mark appears next to it, meaning that that filter is turned on. So if you don't see the check mark that appears next to it, you haven't actually turned it on. So you notice that we've gone down significantly in the number of results that are being displayed 
right here to about 100,500 for results. But I, ha I can't stop there because I see that I've also got a bunch of different content types right now that don't fit the parameters I was looking for. So I just want to see journal articles. So I'm just going to turn on the journal article tab. That's going to take out some more results. Not that many, but it's going to um, remove all those other types of things like book reviews and ebooks and things like that. I can control when the window of publication was. So for instance, if your assignment says that they should be within the last 10 years or five years, or really, you know, if you really just want them very recent, um, or conversely, if you wanna look for things that uh, came from a particular decade, you can do it that way as well. You have options, you can drag this yellow slider bar, you can type in these boxes, or you can use some of these preset ones here. So let's say I only want um, articles from 2005 to the present. I can drag that on the slider bar and it will impact what is being displayed for me. And finally, I have these last two things here, discipline and subject terms. So I'm gonna click on the more uh, dot 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 here to see everything under discipline that's available to me. So this will um, sort of allow me to control for what area these are these things are being published in. Um, and keep in mind that there may be overlap between some categories that would be useful to you. So you can scroll through the list and see maybe what your options are and think about which ones might be the most relevant to you. So perhaps I want public health. I might also want social welfare and social work and maybe um, let's see if I want one more. I can turn on as many as I want. I might want government, perhaps. All right, I'm going to click this button that says apply. And again, it will impact what results are displayed. So now I'm down to 38,793 results. I have one more thing down here, which is subject terms. Again, I'm gonna click on more. And these are terms that have been indexed by a person onto a particular article. So they help me to refine even further what I'm looking for. Remember that my particular search that I did was really general. I did poverty, access, healthcare. So this allows me to really drill down and think about um, what it is that I'm looking at. So for instance, here's a term disparities that's been indexed that I think might be really helpful for me. Um, let's see, I want maybe health, healthcare access, healthcare policy. I can pick all of these. I want health disparities, health policy and services, health services accessibility health uh, status disparities, perhaps. Um, so you can go through and you can pick as many of these as would be relevant to your search. You can always turn them off later. If you feel like you've gone too narrow, you can add more if you're still too broad. So I'm gonna apply these eight that I've selected. And again, we'll see that that will impact. I'm now down to 17,000. Um, one last thing, I, I don't always talk about this, but you can also control for language. Most of these are already in English, but if I just wanted to exclude those handful of foreign language articles, I can just turn on English as well. Um, and then finally, right now, all my results are being sorted in order of relevance, but I could also sort them by date oldest or date newest if I prefer to do that. So right now they're in order of relevance, but I could sort them by the most recent articles if that's how I wanted to look at them. All right, I'm gonna go back to relevance actually. Um, from this point, there is, um, 
it I will be able to see the sort of title I'll be able to see a snippet of the abstract in order to see the full abstract I can hover over the preview link that will in most cases give me access to the full abstract to see whether or not that seems relevant to me um, if we have the full text available you will see that the options to get that full text are right here um, so it will allow you to download a PDF. It will allow you to go to the journal article often um, in a database. Um, you could also look at what else might be in that issue. If for some reason you find that you've got an article that doesn't have the full text, instead what you'll see is citation online. Um, and that will link you to an a, a ability to request that article using interlibrary loan, which is very quick and easy. So if, you, if it's an article you want and we don't have the full text, just click on it anyway and click this request button. Um, so again, you can go ahead and look at that. Another feature that I just wanted to point out to you is that um, we have the quick site available here. So if you click on the little quotation mark icon right over here, uh, you can choose which citation style you'd like and it will give you the um, citation for it that you can copy and paste. And if you're using a citation management software, um, you can click on the dot 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 for more actions and you can export that to, for instance, Zotero or EndNote or anything else that uses a BibTeX um, format. So it, it can be exported into Mendeley as well or to whatever you're using probably takes BibTeX. Um, and you can also email it to yourself and get the permanent link to that item um, if you should need them. So all of those things are there for you. So that is how you can use Summon in the library's resources to find peer-reviewed journal articles. I'm gonna go to one more thing, and if you're still watching, which is that there is also this advanced menu where you can do a bunch of the things that I did in the facets on the left side right here. So you can put in um, very complex searches. You can add additional fields if you need them as well. You can make the publication date conform to what you want. You can choose what kind of content you want. So here's where I would want, you know, journal, journal articles, for instance. Um, you can choose which discipline, you can choose which language. And if you'll notice, there is this little limit to, and you can limit to peer reviewed publications. I'm going to link to another video in which I show you how you can use a tool called Ulrich's Web to check whether something is peer reviewed or not. So if you're wondering after the fact whether you have something peer reviewed, I'll show you in that other video how that works. I hope that this has been useful. If you have any questions about how to find peer reviewed journal articles for your classes and your research needs, please get in touch with me. I'd be very happy to answer your questions and to give you some help with your searches. Thanks again, bye.